So today I've come to my knowledge and I've decided that Zach Ertz is not the same, will never be the same. And today I'm going to prove this. It might be a rant or it might just be explaining why Zach Ertz has been um, very disappointing this year. So before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on today's topics and subscribe to the channel if you are new because um if you don't subscribe to the channel you think the cowboys have a chance at winning the super bowl this year in 2020 so make sure y'all subscribe because i wouldn't want to be known for thinking the cowboys could win a super bowl this year but um let's let's just start off and um and get into this video first off um i just want to say zach Ertz, one of the beloved eagles players in eagles history i mean you look at the touchdown, the court practically, he scored the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl um, to get us our first title in uh, Philadelphia Eagles history. So, he is one of the most loved Eagles players. He will be a Hall of Famer. Um, he will get his jersey retired here in Philadelphia. Um, and I have no question, no doubt about that. But this season in particular, it's just some things that I have been not liking. Now, we, you we, we know we had the Howie Rosen rant. And Howie Rosen, you know, I have my fair share of uh, criticism for him too. But Zach Ertz, this is going to be different because I actually love and I care about Zach Ertz. And it sucks to see him having such a bad year. But first off, I want to say to all you Eagles fans out there, I'm sorry to break it to you. But Zach Ertz is no longer the same player anymore. He isn't the same. He, he just is just is that's just how it is. He isn't the same anymore. Um, next year, I expect Zacherts to not be a Philadelphia Eagle. I expect Dallas Goddard to be our tight end number one. Um, I expect either Richard Rodgers to be our second tight end, and I expect Zacherts to not be here anymore. Zach Ertz, he looks like he does not have any love for the Philadelphia Eagles anymore. When you look at how he's been playing this year, uh, you look at the effort he gives every time something. Every time we get a win, he's just down. Every time we lose, he's even more down. It's, it just seems like he doesn't want to be here anymore. Um, I want to go to the Steelers game in particular because Mr. Zach Ertz, Carson Wentz, threw an interception only because Zach Ertz got a little bit of a shove and he stopped running his route. That is great effort, Mr. Um, Zachary Ertz. For a team that you claim to love in the offseason, you said you want a contract because you don't want to be anywhere but Philly. Well, that's not showing. You're showing that you do not want to be here, and you're showing that you don't care about the team, about anything, uh, about the Philadelphia Eagles organization anymore. And I don't want you to cry and whine and complain about your contract because a contract is earned, not given. Yes, maybe you have earned a contract, but it's other guys in Travis Kelsey and George Kittle who has deserved their contract way more than you. So the fact that you want to play for a contract, but you give effort like that, you give effort like that, you stop running your route, you don't complete your route when the ball's being thrown to you. Let's go to the Baltimore Ravens game. Carson Wentz had a first down. You didn't give effort to extend your arms and catch the ball. That was the first down. That would have gave us momentum in the game. But no, nope, Zach Ertz once again doesn't care and doesn't give effort. We go three and out for like the 10th time that game and we pump the football. Because Zach Ertz didn't care or to give any effort. It's okay if you're not physically the same. It's okay if you're declining. Decline happens. You're pushing 30. When you get to that 30-year-old mark in the NFL, you start to see a little bit of decline. But the effort that you're showing, that's not the effort that a Philadelphia Eagle player would show. The last, the last four years, since the beginning of the 2017 season, the Eagles' motto has been underdog, give effort, fight to the end, and next man up. Zach Ertz has not showed any of that mentality. His mentality is just to get his money and go. And that mentality will get you cut here in Philadelphia. That mentality will have Eagles fans all around the whole city, around the world, getting on you. That mentality will have people like me making videos like this. Now let's go to a little bit of exposing, as I like to do. Because I, I really, I'm really... I'm really liking, um, like, I'm getting into more statistical things, and I'm just going to give you Zachert's first six games in 2020, and then I'm going to compare them 
to his first six games in 2018. So, in 2018, his the year that he broke the um, tight end reception record of Jason Witten, his first six games, okay, Zacherts had 48 catches, 480 yards, and two touchdowns by week six. He is on pace for about, well, that year he got 113 catches, but he was on pace at that time for about 90 catches, a little under 1,000 yards, and about four touchdowns. If you if you if you look how that season is going, so he's looking to have a pretty good season. He's up, he's close to cracking a thousand yards, close to about a hundred catches. Cool. In the first six games this year, only twenty four catches on one hundred seventy eight yards and one touchdown. So let's compare the two. So, in two thousand twenty, the first six games he had twenty catches. In two thousand eighteen, in the first six games he had forty eight catches. So. In 2018, his first six games, he doubled the amount of catches he had um, in his first six games of 2020. In 2020, his first six games, he had 178 yards. In 2018, his first six games, he had 480 yards. So he almost tripled the amount of yards in 2018 that he started off the first six games of um, 2020. In 2020, he had one touchdown. In 2018, he had two touchdowns. So he doubled the amount of touchdowns he had in 2018 than he had so far in 2020. So the start of the season in 2018, the start of the season in 2020, you could just see the decline already. Just to look at simple stats. I didn't even look at yards per catch. I didn't even look at stuff like that. Now, I, I was, and when we were drafted Dallas Goddard, I was mind blown because I'm like, dude, we have an all pro tight end already. Why are we drafting another one? And who knows? Maybe Howie Roseman and the Eagles front office saw something that us Eagles fans didn't see coming. Because the way Zach Ertz is playing right now, or has played before he got put on IR, is unacceptable. And the like when you just when you look at it, you look at a guy who Eagles fans thought he would be here forever, who Eagles fans thought he would be a lifetime Eagle, well, guess what, Eagles fans? We all thought wrong. Why would we want a guy who gives effort like the stats I just showed you? Why would we want a guy who declined like we just showed you? Why would we want a guy who doesn't finish his routes, who doesn't extend his arm to catch a ball? Why do we enjoy? Why do we love? Why do we put our love... And support, and a guy who doesn't support or give love back to us. Who doesn't care about us. Who just wants to go out there, get his money, and go home. All he cares about is making U.S. World Cup commercials with his wife. And his wife is a hell of a soccer player. But all you care about, Zach Ertz, is making World Cup commercials with her. That's all you care about. If you want to go play for the U.S. women's soccer team, you can go ahead. Because that's the effort you're getting. That's the effort you're giving. It's the same effort as the U.S. women's soccer team. Matter of fact, they're giving more effort on the soccer team than you are for this team this season. So if you want to go ahead and quit football and go to soccer, you definitely could. Because that's the right sport for you. And I bet you, no one will care about you then. Whatever you want to do, go ahead. Because this effort that you're giving us, I, as an Eagles fan, if you're going to give this effort the rest of this season, want you out of here. Because you are, like I said, you're not playing like how you were the last few years. You're already declining, which is, like I said, is normal for a guy who's pushing his 30s. But the effort? The effort? But you say you want a contract. But you say you want a contract. Hmm. A guy who wants a contract, a guy who wants to stay with a specific team, a specific city, his whole life, like he claimed to do in August when he was fighting for his contract. A guy like that would not give that effort that Zach Ertz has been given this this NFL season. And I see a lot of Eagles fans on Twitter. We stupid for not paying Zach Ertz. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what, Holly Rosen? I'm sorry. Because you know what? One thing I will give to you is that you were smart. 
You've seen this coming. You probably knew that Zach Ertz was declining. But the effort? No one's seen this coming. So I'm glad Howie Rosen didn't pay Zach Ertz. I'm glad Howie Roseman didn't pay Zach Ertz. I'm glad we drafted Dallas Goddard. Even though at the time, I was all in the Zach Ertz hype train. And I was with all the other Eagles fans and saying, we got to pay Zach Ertz. We shouldn't have drafted Dallas Goddard. But you know what? Zach Ertz currently is no longer my tight end. My tight end is number 88, Dallas Goddard, who no matter what, will give 100% effort. He's younger. He has the higher upside. And honestly, Zach Ertz, I, I'm done. You can go somewhere else. You can go get paid somewhere else. But on this team right now, you don't show that you want to be here. You don't care about being here. And we don't care about you. And the next time I want to see Zach Ertz in the Philadelphia Eagle, or the next time I want to see Zach Ertz step his foot back in the Lincoln Financial Field, is when he retired his jersey. But guess what, Zach Ertz? Right now, you're no longer a Philadelphia Eagle in my eyes until you prove otherwise.